Along the Sea to Sky Trail that connects Vancouver to Whistler, Canada, you can explore the site of a 1956 freight train wreck. I'm Joshua Hanlon, let's take a closer look. In 1956, the primary way to move goods and people south through this region was via train, so any delay could be devastating for the goods and people moving down to Vancouver. That's why on August 11th, when a train carrying lumber down to Vancouver entered Whistler and was behind schedule, it started to speed up to twice the speed limit it should have been going on the tracks. So then, when it reached a narrow part of the track and a sharp bend, it derailed with one of the engines going off and then 12 of the lumber carrying cars quickly following it. Several of those cars remained on the track and blocked it for several days. Following the wreck, a local lumber company in Whistler helped move some cars off the track with cranes and other heavy equipment. While several of the cars were taken off site, seven of them were too badly damaged and have sat here ever since. Today the site of the wreck is popular with graffiti artists and mountain bikers. You can walk around and inside all of the train cars and see the incredible graffiti art on display here. One of the cars is even balanced precariously over the edge of the river and makes for a really action-packed feeling when you're walking around inside. If you want to visit the site, it's an easy 15 minute walk from the parking lot and you can easily visit it on your way up to Whistler on the Sea to Sky Trail. Thanks so much for watching.